This is my grandfather's guillotine style paper cutter. Made in an era long before made in China stickers were prevalent, this was made in Chicago. And they proudly say it right on the front. Sadly, it was starting to show its age. I was cutting through some heavy cardboard and I noticed the cast iron bracket was loose. My favorite thing with old tools is just how easy they are to take apart and work on. That's probably how I got interested in how things work because I could take it apart and put them back together. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Despite the fact this was made out of solid oak from probably countless times of being stressed, the, the top piece had a crack going all the way across the top. Now luckily this is a really easy fix. All I have to do is stick some wood glue back in the crack and after I clamp it and let it sit overnight, I'll have, I'll have it working just as good as it was new. One thing I really wanted to make sure was not to let any extra glue spill over. That would just make it a lot easier to take apart in the future. After about an hour, it was probably safe to take the glue off. So now it's time for me just to put it all back together. The next day, I brought it out into the garage. I wanted to give it a nice thorough clean and re readjust it so it cuts a little smoother. If I really wanted to go at it, I could have used a scrub brush, but I paper towel and some simple green did the work just fine. This is a pretty simple design. This big spring adjusts the rebound of the blade, so it will rise up automatically for the next cut, just like this. Lastly, I wanted to be able to hold the blade down for storage. And there you have it. Now I have a functioning paper cutter that should last another 50 years.